All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Forward Thinking Founders, where we talk to founders about their companies, their business for the future, and how the two collide. Today, I'm very excited to be talking to Dan, Matt, and Chris, who are the co-founders of Omnia Fishing. Welcome to the show. How's it going, guys? Going great, going great. Awesome. I'm excited to have uh, you all on and learn more about what you are working on. For people that haven't heard of Omnia Fishing, what is that? What, what are you working on? Sure. So um, we are an online tackle retailer, uh, tackle and gear, and uh, we've tried to create a unique shopping experience for every water body in America. So we take really important details about how deep it is, species present, uh, clarity of the water, uh, seasonal pattern, and then we match it up against products. So we've, we've created a, a scalable and digital solution to replace the in-store big box where somebody goes in and says, I'm going to this lake, I'd like to catch this. And uh, we can make a much better uh, curated recommendation of product for them to be successful in the water. So I have a few super naive questions because uh, I'm not super, I, I, I don't spend much time on the water in Phoenix. So, so I, I, and I feel like a lot of people listening may not know either. So some basic questions to throw out. When you say product to, before you go out on the water, um, what, can you give me an, like, what do you, like, what does someone need before they go out onto the lake or onto the water? Um, go, you know, and when you, I guess, ultimately tell me more about the user experience here. Someone uses you for what kind of product? Sure. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good question. So the the diversity of product that exists in the fishing industry is absolutely immense, and it creates a lot of confusion, uh, and a lot of challenges for people through a shopping experience. So it really changes the search intent of what somebody's looking for. Um, but as a good example, um, Rappel is a good partner of ours. They make uh, lots of different crankbaits that come in seven different arbitrary sizes and seventy five different colors. And so for every single product out there, there's a lot of confusion on what you actually need. Um, a lot of times it's finding fish and, you know, if they're suspended in different parts of the water column, it's using different products and techniques to actually put the product in front of them, put the tackle piece in front of them. Um, and so, so our algorithm is essentially designed to uh, take some of the details about how a specific body of water fishes and try to, uh, and try to take a big set, tens of thousands of different SKUs and, and unique tackle options and, uh, and select them down to a, a very manageable set that the customer can shop against. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Um, I'm curious, can, can one of you kind of tell me a little bit about the origin story here? Like, wh why did you decide to get started with Omnia Fishing? And yeah, tell me about that origin story. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, uh, Chris and I were working together at Lawrence at the time and uh, had, had concepted this idea that only 10 to 15% of tackle purchases were happening online. And so where most other industries uh, were shifting very quickly and rapidly to online sales, it just really wasn't happening uh, in fishing. And so our hypothesis was, was basically, it's very unique to the customer. It's very unique to the uh, location in the United States um, and globally for that matter. But the idea is you need to take some of those really key details about where a customer is heading and, and give them a very personalized shopping experience. Um, so we started investigating who the players were and what the opportunity was. Um, we, uh, we met Dan who previously worked for uh, a, a startup uh, that had a successful exit essentially uh, managing a, a, a very, very large number of SKUs. And, uh, and so the three of us basically started building a plan. And, and it's one of those things that almost felt like it turned into something faster than we had originally planned. It kind of became its own thing and, and really took off. So um, that was about 2000, early 2018. We were all full-time by middle of 2018. And, and we uh, successfully got the platform launched uh, in the very first part of 2019. And I'd love to hear, and each of you can answer this if you want, like there's like, especially with an industry like this, I think that oftentimes you're for building like a, what an example, like a productivity app, it's just like kind of SaaS and sales, but this is like a super, at least for this podcast, like the reason I wanted to bring you on is like, this is a super neat uh, niche and just kind of specifically non just traditional software, right? Sure. So I'm curious for you, like, what do you all spend your time on? You're, you're, you're like, are you building software? Are you doing sales, working partnerships, fundraising? What's like an average day in the life for kind of for you all as you're all working on Omnia Fishing? Sure. Yeah, I, I can answer first. Um, as probably expected, that that's shifting a lot. Um, so in the very early goings, we were all doing me specifically do kind of all over the place, um, sales, customer acquisition, definitely a lot of fundraising and investor management, um, building the models and plan. Um, and then a lot of it was just trying to deliver on the idea. So I'd say just recently, we finally gotten to the point where we are um, now starting to split into our own roles and disciplines. Um, for me personally, a, a big portion of my brain power goes into uh the, the partnerships that we have with brands 
and the marketing component of what we've built. So it's, um, we, we're not looked at as just an e-commerce platform. The way we engage the customer, we provide this personalized experience. You know, we have this opportunity to allow the brands to reconnect and, and uh, engage with the consumer base. And, uh, and so a lot, of, a lot of my time and energy has been going to how do we build, uh, you know, and kind of sell the dream of, of what we've built here and, and uh, how do we grow together with some of these brand partners. But and Chris can kind of tell you a little bit about what he does more on the operations side of the business. Yeah, you know, it's our still core core means to monetize our technology is through e-commerce sales, at least currently, uh, which means managing suppliers, shipping, packing uh, orders. Um, we do have a full operations team here, um, pick, pack, uh, process anywhere between uh, a couple hundred orders a day to uh, to a few more than that. Um, we ha- we work with maybe uh, around sixty direct suppliers. Um, all supplying us with goods that we, we resell through our technology. Um, and then yeah, a large part of our day now is, is onboarding products and, and making sure our products are merchandised and listed um, to align with, with the uh, uh, lake, page, lake page technologies. Dan can probably supply a little bit yep. about how he has to deal with all of our uh, crazy <laughs> ideas and yeah. operational needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always describe it as like Matt's the lead singer and lead guitarist, Chris is the rhythm guitarist, and I'm the drums and the bass in the background. <laughs> so I make sure that, you know, everything flows. So, you know, early on, we were all three of us in a room figuring out how to get this platform off the ground, because as Matt was describing, like, it's not just a front facing e-commerce Shopify site, it's, it's very much like a, there's a whole huge data set underneath it. And then coming up with a taxonomy to like map all the products and variants together was like a huge exercise in the beginning. So the three of us are really getting oriented on the technical side together. And then we quickly got into like building the customer facing product. So I headed up the development of that, but Matt and Chris were really product owners and managers with that with me and still are today. And so the three of us sort of like perfected and iterated on the, um, you know, the customer facing side of that. So, so, you know, development and technology is a big part of this, but it it really has to be integrated in the operational and also the, the business development and brand side of things. So, you know, where we're at today is it's, you know, spinning a bunch of plates to make sure all these things are happening, but also obviously the customer facing part of what we do is very important. So making sure the site's running quickly and we're answering um, customer service phone calls and support chats and everything. And so really staying close to our customer, I feel is a big part of the technology part of what we're doing. We're not operating in a vacuum. Well, there's a lot of stuff that goes on the customer doesn't see. There's just a lot of staying close to our customer that happens from a development standpoint. So yeah, we're kind of in three lanes, but they cross over a lot. Yeah, I feel like that's the best kind of like co-founder relationship, like doing separate stuff, but you know, it's all like, uh, it, it all obviously leads to do something great in a company. Let's kind of talk about that. If you were to look out, you know, as you keep going down your lanes um, for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, um, what, what do you kind of see as the future for Omnia Fishing? Or I guess in other words, what's the big vision here? And retro- what direction are you rowing in as you build this out? Sure. Yeah, I, I think uh, generally the 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 direction that we're heading in is is really capture uh, a large portion of the of the consuming public in the angler community and uh, and giving them the best possible experience they can receive and, and convincing them basically they don't need to go to big box retail any longer and they can both um, engage with discover and purchase product all in one location and that's a really important piece it's, it's fundamental to what we're trying to build here we're not trying to build our own product so in theory we, we just sell commodities I mean you can buy most of the things that we buy anywhere else um, we're just giving you a good uh, personalized experience and uh, and then a much deeper relationship to the Omnia brand that keeps keeps the customer coming back so I think pretty rapid expansion of that plan and, and, uh, and continue to service both our customer base, but also providing access to them uh, with our brand partners to make sure that they're getting the best experience, it's really core to what we're trying to do. And I don't think that ever changes. The good news is that has been the, the vision from the beginning, um, how we approach it has changed uh, throughout this as we've learned and we've looked at the data, but, uh, but, but that core function and, and that core vision has, has never changed. And in order to make the vision come to life and make it happen, you'll need some help, right? It takes a village to make a startup work. So my question for you, you know, for any of you is, is how can the forward thinking founders community help? Are any of you hiring? Are you raising capital, looking for customers or partners? You know, if you haven't asked, definitely feel free to make it, you know, how can we help? Sure. I I think hiring is going to be a super important part of, uh, of the request. I, I would say, I mentioned that I've been spending a lot of time with the brands and the fundraising, but it feels like the last few weeks have been dominated by reviewing resumes and uh, and scaling the team. So, 
You know, one, one thing that I've, I've received some really good feedback on, we actually just closed uh, a, a round a few weeks ago. Um, we brought in some, some really fantastic investors with uh, Dundee Capital, which is uh, mostly investing in the, in the kind of the center states out of Omaha, Minneapolis, St. Louis, and Chicago. Um, and then we also brought in uh, a co-lead investor in our latest round, uh, the Founders Collective. And uh, one of the most interesting pieces of having access to such quality uh, investors like that is you get access to the other founders that are in the portfolio. And there's been a lot of really good chatter and communication about when do you hire specific resources? You know, when do you bring in a new, your own accountant? When do you bring in uh, general counsel, things like that? We're still in the phases of bringing in and expanding our merchandising team, like Chris mentioned, our customer support team, like Dan mentioned, because we're constantly breaking things along the way as the business grows. And so I think getting good feedback about, you know, access to people that are looking for new opportunities in, say, marketing, somebody that can really manage. Right now, marketing is really us collectively thinking, wouldn't this be cool uh, here, here are some, uh, the way the data is currently playing out. Let's double down in these areas. But, but they're really, we, we are just running around like crazy trying to figure all that out. So I think bringing in the right resources, when to bring those resources in and receiving some feedback on a couple of those pieces would really be core to, to what, where we're going over the next year or so. And then um, for, for, my, uh, for my last question, if someone wanted to learn more about you all, feel free to plug, you know, if you're all on social or anything like that, happy to hear it. Um, you know, how can they find you online? You know, one, what's your website? But two, how can they find you on social media? Is there an email address? You know, how can someone get in touch if they want to learn more about the team? Sure. Yeah, so everything's hosted at omniafishing.com, O-M-N-I-A fishing.com. Uh, we're very active on uh, Facebook, Omnia Fishing, and uh, Instagram. Uh, and then also, uh, we, we post a little bit to LinkedIn in a more professional capacity with some of our brands and, and, uh, and followers and, and professional connections. Um, and then we have an email, hello at omniafishing.com. Uh, definitely looking for customers, people that understand what we're trying to do to provide great feedback. Um, and then most importantly, we have an ambassador program. So anybody that's an active participant in the, the country, um, can actually apply to be an ambassador. You can file fishing reports that supply a feedback loop to continue to improve our algorithm um, and re receive credits and free tackle and all kinds of goodies for, uh, for being a part of this, this pursuit of what we're trying to accomplish in the industry. Cool. I mean, I think that this is a, uh, a really cool product and a really cool market, one that I'm actually really interested in. I've recently been hearing more, a few more products just in, in this general market. I'm like, yes, this is cool. So I appreciate you coming on to the podcast and sharing this with me and just best of luck to you all kind of building this out. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. thank you.